Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time and welcome back. If you're a subscriber, I really appreciate it. We've just gone over 7,000 people, which is really exciting to me. So I wanted to show you my latest sculpture. Uh, this started out as a human form, kind of Burning Man-ish. What is kind of special about it though is it's all constructed from dead redwood branches. And then in the forest here, there were, you know, decades ago they had ran barbed wire and all the barbed wire was down on the ground and just injuring people and animals. So I rolled up as much of it as I could and the hands and the head are actually woven from old rusted barbed wire from the forest. And what this turned out to be, it went from just being a guardian of the forest to a bit of a self-portrait. I don't know if you've seen my uh, video that I've made of the magical forest, but on my property here, in, uh, on the walking trail, I have created installation. And the art installation is called Rebellion Against Darkness. And the idea of rebelling against darkness was the idea of using mirrors, broken mirrors, many which were donated to me, and the feeling that so many people feel helpless, economically challenged, hopeless about politics or uh, the, you know, the state of the planet. But even if we feel broken, we can still choose to reflect light off of each other. So this simple idea of broken people choosing to reflect light off of each other instead of suffering and darkness was the inspiration for my simple but elegant installation here in the forest. This is a new addition to the installation. It's a life-size unicorn. The unicorn is constructed from tan oak saplings and tan oak branches. And I use tan oak because the tan oaks here in the mountains, Santa Cruz mountains have, um, uh, have they've contracted a horrible virus and all the oak trees are dying. And there's only a handful of indigenous trees up here. And it's very worrisome because many of the mushrooms that I hunt and fungus, insects and plants are completely dependent on that tree to create a certain soil pH for them to live. So when the tan oaks are all gone, I don't know, it's a part of an uh, ecological collapse actually. So I thought it was appropriate to create a mythical, you know, something mythical that once people believe may have existed, but to do it from the material of this native tree that's disappearing. Okay, if you enjoy my videos, you're inspired by art and creation, Please subscribe, it helps. I want you to take care of yourselves and take care of each other because how we treat each other on the streets is our ultimate reality. Bye for now.